everyone. Another Saturday, another day on site. So yeah, we're on, day, uh, we're on site again today, me and Tommy Blood. We're doing uh, a swimming pool boiler. Uh, well, we're, we're moving one, it's already been fitted, but we're just moving one because it's, uh, it's broke. And we're doing it for a YouTuber, an actual YouTuber, a proper YouTuber, not like me, a, an actual proper one. So we're doing it for Tom Cassell, who actually went to school with my Tom. So that's why we're doing it, basically, because they're mates. So uh, some of you guys might know him as Syndicate. So, um, yeah, somewhat different, isn't it? Uh, boiler for a famous YouTuber. So, let's get to Tom's house then. So, unlike me, Syndicate has three YouTube channels and he's got over 10 million subscribers. 10 million? Not like me, with me 4,000. He's got 10 million. Oh, my word. And he's had, I think, over 2.2 billion views in, since he's been doing it. And we've been on YouTube about the same amount of time. <laughs> oh, my word. So, obviously, um, gaming and commentary is far more lucrative than being a gas engineer. Anyway. So, we've had this glorious weather for the last few days, so hopefully this weather's gonna stay. So, uh, first of all, we need to go and rob the shop. So, let's go and get some grub. So, just been to the Tesco Express in G-Cross. Didn't even have any signs. Well, they did, they had one. I've ended up with Roast chicken and bacon pasta. They only had one of them. So the other one, I'm going to be fighting Tom for this, aren't I? Anyway, that's the only sandwich they had. Chicken salad. Anyway. Still think I'm robbing places every time I go in with easel. But it's a must. And I've just been in Tesco's Express in um, G-Cross. And two ladies in there were lovely, but two guys walking around with no masks on. What's that all about? Come on. How many times does Boris have to tell us about wearing these? You've got to wear them, so wear them. Bloody hell. It's not hard, is it? It's not a hardship. Just wear the mask. Anyway. Done enough waffling before we get to this job, so let's get on with it. So, just pulled up outside Tom's house. Now, the job we're about to do is a gas boiler. And this isn't how to do the gas boiler, this is just the job of doing the boiler for the YouTuber. So, to play with gas and to work on gas and to install boilers, you have to be gas safe registered. So if you're a DIYer watching this video, just because it's Tom, then that's good. You're not going to get much out of it. Um, so just remember, don't try and play with your own gas equipment. Don't go onto YouTube and look and see how we do our jobs um, because we don't give you all the information you should do. So. This is just a day of me doing a job for a YouTuber, not a tutorial on gas. But um, hope you enjoy the video and you don't try and work on your own gas appliances. So just waiting for Tom now to turn up to Tom's and we can get on with it. See you in a bit. Hi, my name's Tom, also known as YouTuber Tom. No, my name's Tom Syndicate. This is my ginger friend. Um, Why am I here? 
you're a plumber, aren't you? No, he's a gas engineer. He's a gas engineer. But if you ever meet him in person, make sure you say he's the best plumber in the world. <laughs> <laughs> William, a very happy birthday to you. Sorry I can't meet you in person. One day we'll get a pint together and I'll get to shake your hand and say thank you for watching my videos. But until then, happy birthday and all the best. Peace. First job of the day, tightness testing. Drop it like a stone. Gas leak. Gotta find it now. So that's the end of the tightness test. We just got over a four millibar drop. There is no smell of gas. We've got appliances connected, but we gotta find this gas leak. So this is the first. A coffee made by a famous YouTuber. Oh my. <laughs> Cheers, Tom. And it is probably the worst coffee I've ever had, but I won't be telling him that or I won't get another one. So we've just cut the gas off. So we've just found out that Tom, the syndicate, has no idea that his house has a fire. But we just cut off into the house and the leak is in the house somewhere because we've got no leak now. So what we've got to do now is find this leak in the house. So it's now uh, quarter past 11. We've been here since eight o'clock and we've found the gas leak. So if we get my gas sniffer. You can hear it clicking. So it's either in the floor or it's on this elbow here. Well, that's what's causing us the problems. Uh, we gotta do now is suss out how we're gonna sort this out. So that's the reader we're getting on the gas sniffer. So that's the five millibar drop. So one day, this could be me. One day, I doubt it. And this definitely won't be me. One million, no chance. Now this is the boiler we're replacing. It's a Worcester Green Star 24i Junior. And it's going to be replaced with an ideal 24 kilowatt Vogue Max. So let's have a look where this boiler's positioned. So as you can see, the boiler's installed in the garage in this cupboard. It has a vertical flue, so we're going to have to make sure we get some new slates on the roof, or tiles as they are. This is the pipe work we're going to be altering. Now, this is all going to be changed again in the future because we're moving this boiler because they're having an extension done. So all this will be changed again later. Now this is where we're installing this brand new ideal boiler. This is the pool water treatment plant room. So this is where we're installing the boiler. We've already made this framework to stand the boiler off the wall so we can get the pipes past this plastic pipe. So that was a struggle getting this boiler onto the wall. But the boiler's now on the wall and we can now start piping it up. Now the boiler we're actually fitting is a combi and all combis now should have one of these fitted which is a filter and because this is the ideal max it actually comes with this ideal filter. So that's how it goes together and what there is inside here is a big magnet and the magnet takes any magnetite out of the system to protect the boiler. So it's half six now. We've now done enough work for today after that disaster this morning looking for the gas leak. So everything's safe now. Gas is still off because they don't need any gas for today. So back tomorrow. Bye right, everyone. Day two of Syndicate's boiler. So, just going to go to the centre to pick some bits up first before we crack on and finish the job. Well, the weather's a bit different today. It's a bit cold and a bit rainy, but never mind. Onwards and upwards. So, let's get on with day two.
Now the old boiler is removed and so we've done patched the roof up. We've now altered the pipework. And like I say, all this pipework is coming out again anyway because this will be a utility room, I think. So that's what we've done just for now so we can get this boiler commissioned. So gas is all tested to the boiler now and it's all working fine. We're just going to find this leak in the house. Now the condensate we've just put into the drain from the swimming pool stuff for now and the swimming pool guy is going to come and put us a tea in tomorrow so with a valve so when it's back washing into the drain um, we can isolate the valve so thanks Mr Swimming Pool Man for putting this tea in and the isolation valve so now when he wants to back wash the filters he can isolate our condensate line and safely back wash the system come on what do you think so I'll tell you what don't know much about boilers and everything, but that is a good looking fit. Looks very symmetrical and I like it. But, well, how long's going to be warranty on this thing now? 12 years. Oh, sorted. So, after 12 years in one day, I'll see you when it breaks. No, you'll see us every year because you keep your warranty after it's serviced. Seriously? Mm. You didn't tell me you'd set me up to be on a service <laughs> plan. <laughs> no. Very happy. Thanks, Tomcat. <laughs> <laughs> But don't think he's very happy with the big hole we've now just put in his ceiling. So, so far, finding syndicates leak. What we've done is, that's going up to the hob. This is the gas pipe coming from the actual meter. We blanked it off there with a the push fit, because we're just testing. So I thought anybody start screaming, you know, say push fit on gas. So we're just using it to just test to see where we are leaking up to and we are sound here so we found a little tiny leak above here so the gas leak was coming up through the hole there where the wires are going through so we're going to reconnect up here and then we're going to we found another hatch he says walking into the football game and we're going to cut it here the sort of 15 you can see here the 15 copper is feeding the fire so we're going to cut it here and retest and see if it's in the leg because we've got another hatch here. So that's what we're doing. He wants us to find it. So this is what we have to do to access up here. Cut this junk out in the back of the cupboard. And that's where the gas was coming up, the smell was coming up through there. And that's what you could see down the bottom. It's here, it's loose as hell. <laughs> but how are we gonna tighten that up? Impossible. So, from this hatch, across to the wall down that end there, there's a leak somewhere and that's for another day so we've now been here to it's now five past eight we've uh, found what leg the gas leaks in so we've just isolated that leg and as you can see we've got a drop of 0.24 now so safe enough to leave on for tonight till we come back again and find the other part of the leak. <laughs>